So I just wanted to say thank you. My video on TikTok blew up and went viral. It has over 3 million views now. Um, some other things have blown up as well. Um, and I'm just so grateful that God is using it. I've like messaged a lot of people privately as well. There's so many great responses. So many people that I've dived into conversations to talk about their walk with Christ as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you for so much love and support on my journey and me being able to put out content. Um, thank you to God, first and foremost. Um, you know, he, he told me to do it and then I did it. <laughs> um, and I also want to give honor to my church. I belong to V1 Church. I honor my pastors, Pastor Mike Signorelli and Pastor Julie, Pastor Jocelyn, Pastor Eddie, Pastor Patrick, everyone. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I know a lot of us have church hurt, but there are churches who are doing it right. It's not about being necessarily a Christian or a certain religion. And it's about following Christ. So I just thank you that they've helped me foster so much of a relationship with Jesus that he is truly my father. Um, and he's been elevating me, not by my own strength or my own power, but he's been elevating me. And so I'm just eternally grateful for him and for everyone that's been supportive. Um, and I'm glad that my story and my testimony has been reaching people. I never wanted to make a TikTok. I was like, this is silly, God, this is dumb. And here I am on TikTok and videos have been going up. So that's really great. And I'm gonna continue to make content. For the hundredth time, I don't hate anyone. I still know a lot of um, gay people, queer people, um, but I do know change is possible. Um, and it's not about being straight. It's not about marriage or kids. It's about you being healed and being whole and being holy and righteous with God. And Jesus loves you so much. He is a father. He delights in you and he's so well pleased with you. Some of you might be feeling a pull from God to be able to share. The enemy wants to silence you, but we break that off in the name of Jesus. You are meant to speak up. Your testimony is also prophecy because what's been done for you can happen with somebody else. But if you don't speak up, no one will know. Your obedience, your story, your voice is going to impact impact lives, it's going to heal somebody's lives, it's going to um, potentially help them continue on their walk of salvation. Um, you never know, but if you stay silent, you're being disobedient to God. But as we continue to be obedient, God blesses us, He delights in us, it increases in our faith and our character and our confidence. And um, you're going to see so, so many people because there's a revival happening. Um, and so I just wanted to say that. All right, I love you guys so much. See y'all on the internet somewhere. I think I'm be hibernating, but I'll still be posting here and there. Um, so love y'all. Bye.